A well-known expert on Twitter says that the price of XRP will be over $227.89 by October 31st. Once more, this has been confirmed by JP Morgan, who says they are now taking XRP for both credit card and mortgage payments. Wells Fargo also responded to the news by letting people pay their credit card and loan bills in XRP. BRICS nations officially agree that India and the UAE will use XRP in trade instead of the US dollar. They did their first transaction away from the US dollar when they paid for oil and they used the XRP lender. On top of that, the US Federal Reserve has started using XRP for all payment transactions. Having heard these things, I just told you guys that the price of XRP will reach $227 by October 31st. The Ripple Federal Reserve deal, which will let XRP be used for payments within the Federal Reserve government, is the first thing that needs to be talked about. The US Treasury and Ripple have agreed to work together on a $10 million project. This has been confirmed by several news sources, including this one Ripple reveals $10 million partnership with US Treasury. This has now been proven. To be clear, the Federal Reserve does use XRP and they work together on a large scale. In fact, a top executive at the US Federal Reserve. In this video, someone said that the Federal Reserve could give the job of settling payments to a third party like Ripple Labs and that the Federal Reserve is likely to start using XRP for payments. The clip is about to start, but before you do, I also want to show you this report from the Federal Reserve. It says that XRP and XLM are the only two assets that the Fed may even think about using to make payments. This is what it says about the payment system now. During the test program phase, more than 120 organizations took part, including newcomers like the US Bank, the Exchange Bank, and several payment processors and solutions. One of the fintech companies that the Fed may now use is Ripple, which is a well-known provider of cross-border payments and open-source security technology for financial activities. To be clear again, the Federal Reserve will use XRP to make payments. Let's play the clip now that I've talked to you about it and shown you the stories to back it up. Some people ask, how can you trust the Fed to keep the books? Yes, I did say that. My answer is that you don't think the Fed will steal your money. There will be no changes to the books if the Fed can print as much money as it wants. We have this big list, which you can call the blockchain if you want, but it's only run by the Federal Reserve. It's very cheap, much cheaper than Bitcoin if you're okay with someone else being in charge. One problem with all of that is that, well, let's say you didn't want the Fed to handle the funds. That is, let's say that the Fed is likely putting know your customer KYC restrictions on some sales. They might not be able to handle some purchases you want to make. At that point, I said, well, you, you know, we could take the idea one step further if we wanted to. This is not something I think will ever happen. It's just an idea. You could picture not with a Fed wire for all, but with a Fed coin. The Federal Reserve would print these things that look like Bitcoin and make sure they have the same value as the US dollar. That would stop the changes in the exchange rate. They could, however, give the clearing of these funds to a third party, such as a Ripple-like protocol or even Bitcoin. In other words, we could give the miners the job of making these electronic Fed coin payments. And the idea would be, you know, we now know for sure that the Federal Reserve will use XRP and has been using it to build their system. This makes the public's expectations a little too high. We're going to talk about a big project on the XRP system that is changing the game and will bring in billions and trillions of dollars. Guys, we don't just talk about XRP on the CryptoKey channel. The Crypto Geek community talks about crypto tokens and crypto projects that are supposed to make people a lot of money, really making them rich for life. And this is the whole point of the channel to make money for future generations through crypto and blockchain. Because we are the top content creators, we have to talk about the CDF coin. It is a small project on both the XRP ledger and the Polygon chain. That's right, guys. It's said to get bigger than ever before. The lines are called. You can see this if you look closely. We call the retracements, and you can see that line right there is exactly what we called it. We drew every line, and now we have proof in the pattern the charts are going up 5% while the whole cryptocurrency market is. Going down, which is great, it's currently sitting at 79 cents, but what's really crazy is the potential this will cost more than $374 in the next two weeks at the very least. Jack Derbler stated that he is an XRP influencer and that he has over 230,000 followers right now. People, this person went public on Twitter and said that he thinks the price of CTA tokens will go from about 80 cents now to $374 in a few weeks. Particularly. Since they just recently said they were going to list on LBank, as of now, the crypto trading fund CTF token is the only XRP ledger token on LBANK and the MEX exchange. This is a huge deal because it makes it the second largest controlled exchange. But this is huge. This will change everything and people will pay more attention to how much the CTF token needs to cost for widespread use. A supply. 
shock could happen at any time. Guys, the chances are that the CTF ticket will be worth at least $40 billion, which is about $1,400 per CTF. This means every less than, I think it's 800 bucks right now, that are in CTF. Basically goes over 1.4 million every 800. This is crazy. And the reason I'm Dark Eyes averaging and buying in is because of the supply that it could easily have. Jack, because they only want 120 million tokens to compare XF is worth 100 billion CTF, but only 120 million CTF. But only 120 million CTF. It's also very early in the um, game with only 4,000 users. It's literally less than 50 cents, but over 7 million people hold it. That's how much money needs to be put into it for it to be very tough, given how much money is already in the world. But for CTF tokens, the price goes up by a mere $1,000. Imagine that $100,000 is put into XR and it goes through the roof. Again, build a nice town and put it on a polygon chain and I'm talking about a big jump. Because of this, I'm very bullish and I'm always out because I'm buying in slowly and collecting as many CTF tokens as I can. The promise is there. And any day now, we could see that as a flashback that could bring in 1,400, which would make a huge amount of money. If it goes through the roof and hits 1,400, I'll have to quit. I really believe in the possibility because of the TA and the charts. I've also read a lot of other people's thoughts and they're all very positive. Let me say that again, I'm not a financial advisor. I know he's doing study, but there are some very interesting things about it. In this case, it's the only utility coin that was built on both the exit pillar and the polygon chain and has a low amount. It is made for businesses and schools I'm in for. Sale now and it's already pretty late in the game. Since it first came out nine months ago, it's gone through the roof, I think, by 100,000 or 200,000 percent. That just goes to show how early we are in the game. At this point, they are only being offered on centralized exchanges. Let's say that once they're listed on a site like Binance or Crude.com, every token that is listed there quickly goes up by 100,000 percent. That's very simple. The price of CTF coins is likely to be between 10,000 and 100,000 X, going through the roof, going over $1,000 per CTF, which is 80 cents right now. Right now it's really cheap, which is why I think the CTF token rate will probably never go below where it is now. Now that that's out of the way, I'll show you guys CTFToken.com. Check them out. The link will be in the description, but they're already on MEX on the accepted record and the polling chain. They're just now being listed on LBANK. This is going to be huge. For those of you who want to get in, now is the time because the price will go through the roof once it's listed on LBANK on October 5th, right away. There are only a couple hours left, so if you want to get in, do it quickly before they get listed on LBANK. If they do, the price will go through the roof and you'll have to miss the train. Again, links will be provided below in the description for ctftoken.com on the Apollonian chain and on the XRPL with that. Said, I'm very optimistic about the CTF token. You can be sure that these are real because LBANK is officially listing them. That's the news, and I think they posted it. If I may go back to the CTF token, here it is. We officially announced that the CTF token rewards will be listed on the Albank exchange. When you clicked on that, Albank put it right there. This is crazy, guys. And look, almost 600,000 people follow them. Think about how strong these guys must be. Since this just came out, 600,000 people are about to see the CDCF ticket. They'll probably jump in and try to get as many as they can, which will send the price through the roof. That's why I say now or never.